Has Mattel quality fell off, Brad? Let's talk about it. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be diving into the topic of Mattel WWE action figures and specifically talking about the quality of the product. You know, uh, over the past few years, I would say that like it's kind of weird because we've kind of entered into a, into a kind of version of WWE figures that are like amazing, but also what's going on or what the hell is that? So like I think that everybody would probably agree with me that as far as like WWE Elites and WWE Ultimate Editions, outside of a few things here and there, I will say that they pretty, you know, they've been spot on. Like, of course, Ultimate Editions have their weird torsos where you can't really ab crunch that well, and there's not that much more ab crunch than a WWE Elite. A lot of people actually prefer WWE Elite torsos over the Ultimate Edition anyways, but as far as like, you know, like accessories, head sculpts, details, things of that nature when it comes to Elites and Ultimates, I would say that pound for pound, like the figure are pretty damn good, man. Like, I think this is the best years. I mean, of course, we're advancing in technology. We're advancing this way and that way, and figures are better than they've ever been in the past. You know, sometimes they, you know, they're up there in price sometimes, and sometimes, you know, uh, yeah, they, they're not all great. However, I would say that I'd say we're batting pretty good percentage when it comes to Elites, Ultimates, AEW figures. I would say we nail it most of the time. However, I feel like basic figures are where the company gets hurt. And I will say there's a lot of things that come into this, but I saw this comment on a ringside post. Let me go Let me go see if I can find it real quick, and you guys can tell me if you actually agree with this. It was actually the full the like basic wave that we just got. It was the, more, the most recent basic wave that we got the images of. You guys already know. We're going to get into it again here, but I think it's Basic Series 121. You got Roman Reigns, Bailey, Apollo Crews, Rey Mysterio, and Kane. We already covered the Kane figure a little bit. We will cover it again in this video, but I feel like the budget for Basics is definitely lower than Elites. Of course, you're getting more accessories and things of that nature. They leave details off of pants all the time. The articulation isn't there. So the budget for the basic line is, is of course, much shorter than the Elite, so that doesn't leave as much room. But I do feel like basics used to just be better. Like, you did have your hit and miss head sculpts, but, like, I used to love buying basics. I feel like a lot of people used to love buying basics. Now, I'm not sure if just that generation, you know, when Mattel first started, it was 2010. Like, it's 2021. That's 11 years ago. If you were 8 or 9, bro, you've, you're literally, like, graduating college or, like, in college college right now if you started that. So that's kind of crazy in itself. Like, kids that were around Mattel buying Mattel action figures when, you know, they were 8, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, they're legitimately 21. They can drink now. They're like adults almost. And is it now that kids are... Do kids even like basics nowadays? If you are a kid, let me know if you even like basics nowadays. But I feel like basics used to be better. Like, the articulation, the ability to, like, take arms off and all of these things. We've discussed it multiple times on the channel, but the basic figures, man, I kind of got off on a little tangent there, but going back to this ringside post, if you go through the comments of the most recent basic pictures that were posted today, this Apollo Crews figure, I don't think this looks like Apollo Crews, man. I just don't really see Apollo Crews whatsoever. Let's go to the comments section. LMAO looks just like him. This is that shocked Undertaker WrestleMania 30 fan. This isn't Apollo. This is Malcolm Bivens. Head legit looks like Malcolm Bivens. Hashtag yikes. Oh my god, it's Kimbo Slice. Goodness gracious. Not a big fan fan of this scan. So, that's one figure. I don't think it looks like Apollo whatsoever either, but if we go up to the Rey Mysterio figure, this, this actually made me laugh out loud. Boyaka Boyaka, what the f*** is that? That made, that made me laugh out loud. That was, that was funny. This is the worst toy I've ever seen. It looks like a Dollar Tree knockoff made in Cambodia. Looks like Gold Dust Long Lost Cousin Silver Dust. Incorrect mass deco. What is that? Worst figure I've ever seen. Am I the only one who thinks this is hideous? Looks like a figure my son would have painted when he was four. The Jax version blows this garbage away. Bro just took a silver sharpie and went ham. I mean, bro, they are just not... They, nobody, they, they, the gloves were off in this comment section. But this is... I mean, to be fair, I mean, it is a basic of Silver Rey Mysterio. It was supposed to be based on Silver Surfer. You know, he came out to the ring. I think Jax did do a version of it. I'm popping up images on the screen so you guys can know what I'm talking about. But this figure definitely is an intrigue 
intriguing. They've used this head sculpt for multiple years in a row. Now, I know you can't get a, a new head sculpt every single time and stuff like that, but I don't know. I just think this goes back to the part where, like, basics just don't have the oomph that they used to, or they just, nobody likes them, or that's not true. I mean, they be, they definitely sell. I think they have the most sales of any other figure, which, again, the business model is genius because when a kid's four or five, like, if I go to the store and say JoJo's three, well, if I'm his father, obviously this won't be true, but JoJo, we go to the store, and he looks up there, and he sees John Cena basic. He's gonna be like, ooh, John Cena, and there could be an elite right there, but he won't know the difference. My son will know the difference, but you get what I'm saying. You spit, you could spend nine, ten bucks on a figure instead of twenty. You save money, live better Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So I understand it, but for collectors that like to customize and like to head swap and like to arm swap and like to get creative with it, it definitely hurts us because you can't, like, when Je this is a perfect example. When Jeff Hardy first signed to the company, I was thinking to myself, oh my god, basics are gonna be amazing. I can't remember if they switched it right after he signed. I wanna, th I I wanna say it was right after he signed or it was right before he signed. They changed the arm articulation to where you couldn't just pop the arms off. So I was thinking in my head, oh my god, we're gonna get so many cool Jeff Hardy basics that we can pop the arms off and we can put them on our elites and fix up our elites. Give them different sleeves. Give them different fix-ups. You know I love the Jeff Hardy fix-ups. So that was one bummer right there. And that really hurt. I don't think, I know, I don't think, it's been a while, I think, since accessories came with a basic. Like, I remember we used to have, like, the Money in the Bank briefcase that would come with some and the Slammy Award and things like that. But the only reason you buy basics nowadays, if you're an adult collector, most of the time, not every single time, but most of the time, is for a head swap and knee pads. That's literally it. Unless you're just going to sit a figure up on the shelf, you usually buy the Elite because you can pose it around and you can do stuff. Anybody that buys basics, like, if you try to bend the knee sometimes, the boot will just come off or the knee will literally snap or feel like it's gonna snap. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just one of those old idiots that's like, oh, back in my day, the basic figures were much better and supreme in quality. I don't know. Maybe that's me now. I don't know, but based on that comment section, a lot of people will agree that basics just aren't what they used to. And I don't know. I don't think the overall quality of Mattel's product has went down. If anything, it's went up supremely. Maybe, like, if everything was at a base level right here, you know, basics, elites, you know, defining moments, like, specific figure series, if they were like this, they took some ish. They took some ish out of the basic waves and filled up. So now the basics are down here, but they put it in the elites and ultimates, so the elites and ultimates are way up here. You see what I'm saying? So if every cup was filled to the middle, every cup is half full, and they took the basics and they kind of poured like some of it, some of that half into the elite. So the elites are way up here now and the basics are down here. That's what it seems like. And I'm not sure if they had to do that. Maybe they had to make more budget cuts in the basic line to make room for better things in the elite line. That could be a thing as well. I'm not sure of it. I'm just discussing what we have in front of us, Brad. Now let's get into the cane comments because I got to get into those real quick before we get out of here. So they put up the pictures of the cane. We covered the cane here on the channel multiple times. Probably one of my least favorite head sculpts they've made to this point. It just looks off and whatever. What the hell is that head? Jack's head scan were the best, not gonna lie. The eyes look weird. Here's the initial comment that I was talking about that kind of made, the, that was the inspiration behind this video. I feel that Mattel isn't trying as hard as they used to. The elite figures are great, but the basic figs look pretty stinky nowadays. As a kid, I owned nothing but basics and loved every single one of them because even though they were basics, they had the articulation, good enough of a paint job, and decent head scans to where I enjoyed playing with them nonstop. Now when I see things like this, it just feels like the love is gone. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. And that had nine likes right there. This cane is stone. Cane after a stroke. That's terrible. That's a figure of a fan wearing a mask. So there you go. Yeah, not very good on the comment section right there. I don't know, man. Again, that guy said that when he was a kid, basics were much better. But again, he's grown up now. Maybe he sees things differently. I don't know. But I can tell you right now, whether I was 7 or 17, I would much rather play with the older basics than the newer basics. Sometimes there's some damn good basics. I may even do a, f a thing where basics were better than the elites. I, I shout out to that guy that recommended that video. Like the Bray Wyatt. The Bray Wyatt. Firefly Funhouse basic. That was a freaking amazing basic. So sometimes they do, but I'd say overwhelming majority. Even the Major Wrestling Figure podcast has pointed out deco missing and paint things and inaccuracies and stuff like that. And again, at the end of the day, is it the biggest deal? No, it's just a toy, but you know, when you're putting a lot of your money into this and you know, it's a you know it's a hobby that you love and you love this and you love wrestling and everything like that, it can be bummerific sometimes, man. But I think that pretty much wraps up my video on these basics, man. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? 
three. What's up, man? Let me know. Before a random shout-out, our shout-out's gonna go to the guy who said, Booyaka, Booyaka, what the fuck is this? Because that was hilarious. That was hilarious. I hope he's a subscriber and he watches this video. Don't cross the line like new basics. You cross the line, I've been...